So welcome to working with React and Go. And this course is going to cover a fair bit of material, and it's going to give you exposure to working with both React and with Go, commonly referred to as Golang, even though the proper name is Go. And we'll do so by building our own project. And what we're going to cover in this course, we're going to cover, first of all, an introduction to React. Now, this is not a 75-hour course on advanced React techniques. This is an introduction to React and working with it in order to build a single page application. And by the time you're finished this course, you'll have a thorough understanding of how to build components, reusable components, how to route users around to various parts of your application, and best practices for building a single page application. We're also going to build a REST API in Go, and that will be the back end. And that will be a service that provides both JSON to our front end, so we'll read information from a database, we'll write it to the end user or to the front end as a JSON file, and display content as appropriate. It will also provide and consume GraphQL, which is another method of getting information from the back end in a way that front end developers really, really like. And finally, we'll also learn how to secure certain parts of our site using JSON web tokens. That allows us to authenticate and to protect certain parts of our application and to require users to authenticate before they can do anything. Now, why work with React? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. First of all, it's very popular. It's very much in demand. Lots of employers are looking for people that have skills in this particular area. It has a relatively fast learning curve, as you'll see very soon. It also allows us to create reusable components, so we can build something like a button or a complete form and use it anywhere we want in our application with relative ease. It's also very fast. It uses something known as a virtual DOM, and it renders information to the screen very, very quickly, and that provides an excellent user experience. It also implements something known as unidirectional data flow, and that allows us to abstract complex things that happen behind the scenes and it makes it very easy to build our application in a way that makes sense and that is easy to maintain. And why work with Go? Well, Go has quickly become extremely popular uh, with a lot of people, including Netflix and Uber and American Express, and also with individual developers who just want to work on their own projects. It was introduced in 2009 and has quickly become one of the most popular programming languages out there. In fact, it, it eclipsed C++, which is quite an achievement when you think about it. It's popular because it is very fast. It is, on average, some 200 times faster than something like PHP, for example. It executes very quickly and it compiles very quickly. And anyone who's ever worked with, say, C, well, those people are often used to waiting 15 or 20 minutes for their applications to compile, whereas in Go, it just takes a few seconds, even for very large projects. Go is relatively easy to understand and to learn, and it also has an ideal and extremely powerful concurrency model that allows us to execute things at the same time. And finally, it compiles to a single binary, so you don't require an external runtime like you do with Python or PHP. You wind up with one file, one executable file, and that's what you deploy to your production servers. So what we're going to do, we're going to begin with an overview of, of React, how to build things in React. And what we're going to be building is a single page application, and that will allow us to add, edit, and update, and to delete movies from a React front end. The back end will be written in Go, and that will handle authentication, it'll handle sending JSON to the front end, and it will also handle GraphQL requests. And finally, we'll learn how to secure our site using JSON Web Tokens. So let's get started.